Hey guys, just want to make a video to show you the uh, the old Aaron's rototiller that we're going to work on today. Got an old gummed up carburetor. It's got a hole in it in the uh, float, so it's constantly pouring gas out of it. And the rest of the parts are all gummed up. Everything's pretty pretty nasty and old. So we went on eBay and we bought a new one for about twenty eight dollars. So we're going to throw that on this bad boy today, and we're going to fire up and till the garden that we tilled last week if you watched that if you watched that video alrighty so try to take some photos and a little bit of video along the way for you give you a good idea this is the uh, five horsepower engine alright so we removed the two front screws that hold that plate on took those off now we're taking off these two nuts here we're clamping this off the fuel line Removed it from the carburetor here, and I'm going to undo this linkage up top to get that out of the way. All right, so we got that off. That was a pain because one of the bolts was, uh, one of the screws rather was a bit stripped so we actually used the uh, a method I've heard about before where you take a rubber band and put it on the stripped head along with the screwdriver and it it worked pretty well so whether or not it actually helped I couldn't tell you but I tend to think that it did all right so we got that apart and uh, we're gonna clean the threads on the old the old uh, bolts and screws there all the linkage is disconnected as you can see and then we'll put it back together. So here's the old versus the new. Just off the bat, these are put on in opposite directions, but it doesn't really matter. All the rest of the stuff looks the same. So we're going to replace that now. So we're using a 7 16 wrench flat screwdriver, large Phillips, and then we're using the uh, Harbor Freight tap and die set which seems to be working okay. Alright, the carburetor's on there. After cleaning off those, uh, the threads, we went on nice and smooth. So for the future, if we ever have to remove it, which I hope we don't, it'll be easy to remove. Uh, we're, next we're going to hook up the linkage, and then we're going to put the cover back on and uh, maybe someday I'll find the air filter for it. That'd probably be a good idea, but for now we're just gonna use it as is. Hook the, hook the fuel line back up, and then we're gonna, we're gonna adjust the carburetor a little bit to set it for tuning. All right, it's all back together. We're gonna fire it up and see what it does. As you can see, fire right up. So now I'm going to go till the garden a little bit, see how it works. So I used my uh, my other Craftsman tiller to cut the soil. It has a rear tine, but it doesn't go very deep. So this one actually goes really deep. This is a really good tiller. 